Hey everybody, this is Miss Isabel. I am going to go over a scale with you today. Actually, we'll do a couple scales, but I'm gonna start with the most basic scale, which is A major. A major scale is the scale that I teach first because it's the simplest to play and it's very, um, the pattern of the fingers is, is easy to grasp. So if you have finger tapes on your violin fingerboard, you wanna make sure that your fingers go right on the tapes. That's what the spacing we're gonna use. So the spacing for the left hand fingers is there's space between one and two. This is one and two. And then two and three, these guys are friends. They hang out, so they're really close. Keep them together. So we're gonna start on the A major scale with the left hand. I just wanna warm up the left hand first to get used to it. So go ahead and tap your first finger on the first finger tape, if you've got one. And then tap your second finger on the second finger tape. Make sure you've got a nice space between one and two. Tap your three right next door, close to your two. Mm -hmm. And let's do that again. Open, one, two, three. On the A string, make sure you're on the A string, which is the second string, not the littlest one, but next to it. A, one, two, three. And then we're gonna go to the E string, the little string right here. E, one, two, three. And then back down. Three, we lift to two, lift one, lift, open E. And now here's the hardest, the trickiest spot in the entire A scale. We're gonna plop our fingers down on the A string. One, two, three, plop, right down. So practice that a couple times. We lift our fingers, plop. And the one and two, they come down together, right on the A string, plop. Up, down, up, down. So jump a couple times with your one, two, three on the A. Getting used to that. And then we're gonna peel them off when we go down the scale. Three, lift, two, lift, one, lift, A. So we're walking our fingers up the A, up the E, and then back down. Okay, so take your bow and find a really nice bow hold. Check that your pinky is on top and curled. Tap, tap, tap. Check that you have a bent thumb and one, two, three are around the bow. Okay, bring your violin nice and tall on your shoulder. Tuck your button away. Okay, and then your left hand, find your fingers hovering above the tapes, above the strings. Really relaxed and ready to go. Okay, bow on the A string. Let's go at a sl slow tempo. Let's take it easy. A, one, ready, here we go. A string. Oftentimes with my students, I'll say, just use the upper half of the bow to start because that'll get you used to this open and close motion in the arm. So let's play that this time. This time we're gonna start in the middle of your bow and go all the way to the tip. Okay, so start right in the middle. A string, same thing, here we go, ready? Two, here we go. really comfortable with the A major scale. There's lots of different variations you could do. But if you're comfortable with that one, we can move the scale over a string. So we're gonna start on the D string. One, two, three, there's the D string instead of the A. So we're gonna play the exact same fingerings, but down a string. And we call that D major. Because we start on D and we end on D. Okay, so let's do that together. Find your bow balanced on the D string. Okay, and we're gonna use that upper half of the bow again with this open and close motion in the bow. Check your bow hold, make sure your pinky's on top. Okay, start in the middle. Tall posture, hovering fingers. A one, two, D string, go. <laughs> Sound 
coming out, like uh, weird sounds. You want to check your contact point. Make sure your bow is pretty much halfway between the end of the fingerboard and the bridge. Right there, not sliding into the mud or not too close to the bridge. Just happy medium. And then you want to check your speed and your weight. Make sure you have enough weight in the string to really pull out a big tone. We don't want to be on the, on the surface of the strings. So that was weight and contact point and then speed is the last one. You want to make sure you're using enough bow so that you're pulling out a beautiful sound, getting the strings to really spin. If you're too slow, things get a little sticky and stuck. So always lots of beautiful energy flowing with the bow. All right guys, that is your A and D scale video. Uh, keep playing, play that one as many times as you think it takes to get it sounding really comfortable. All right, happy practicing.